Number eight, a binomial expansion. The only one there is here in the 2000 advanced higher. And it's only for three marks. Write out this expansion to power five for one mark and then do this evaluation of 0.9 to the five. Oh dear. Well, the first part will just be, if you can remember your binomial coefficients, rattle it off. You don't really want to be working out the combinations. If you don't remember them, just batter out Pascal's triangle. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10. You know the rest of the same, 10, 5, 1. So what have I got? Now, all the powers of 1, 1 to the 5, 1 to the 4 will just be 1s anyway. So I'll start off with a 1, and then they'll start to come in. So it'll be 5, now the x's start to creep in, that was x to the 0, so that's x to the 1. Then it'll be 10, it'll go up to squared. Then 10 again, up to cubed. Then it'll drop to 5, x climbed to 4, and then finally x to the 5. And there it is for the first mark. I didn't need to bother with the 1's in each of them, because 1 to the power of anything was just 1. Part B, show that 0.9 to the power of 5 is this decimal here, with these 5 decimal places. 0.59049. Well, that means I'm going to want to be writing it as a binomial. So I'm going to write it as 1. I can break it into two parts. 1, take away 0.1. But to make it look like that, I think I'll write 1 plus negative 0.1 to the power 5. So each of these x's is going to be replaced by a negative 0.1. There's a real paste for just two marks. So I've got 1 plus It'll be 5 times, and we'll just put the substitution in first of all. Whoops. 0.1 plus 10 times negative 0.1 squared plus 10 times negative, which I haven't done this now, 0.1 cubed plus 5 times negative 0.1 to the power 4 plus negative 0.1 to the power 5. And step further and just write out what each of these things are. So that's going to be minus. So it'll be minus 0.5. That part's going to be positive. That's 0.01, but times 10 makes it back to 0.1. That's going to be negative. That's 0.001, but with that 10 times it, it'll just be negative 0.01. That's going to be back to positive again. That would have had four decimal places. So 0.0001, but times 5 will make that a 5. And finally, that's going to have 5 decimal places and be negative 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I think just at that point, I'll just believe what they said and just put in the answer, which comes to, because you would just put it into your calculator, 59049. Oh, there it is. It was only two marks. If you weren't happy, put it all in. And there it is, 0.59049. Three marks. Woo!